Chapter 7, Equations and Inequalities. 7, 11a is to model and solve one variable to set equations and inequalities. We have equations. Just as a reminder, remember they do not always have to look exactly like this. Inequalities. So equations are equal on both sides. Oftentimes they will give you a model and you have to write and solve the equation. So you may be given the model and you will be asked to write and solve the equation. So this one is 2x plus 6 equals 10. You get to do inverse operations. Subtract 6 from both sides. is 2x equals 4. The opposite of multiplying by 2 is dividing by 2. And you get x equals 2. Inequality. So same thing, you're going to be given an inequality and they will ask you to solve, to write and solve it. Um, make sure that you are paying attention to which side is higher or lower. You will notice that the heavier side is going to be greater because the heavier it is, the more weight is going to be on it, so it's going to be lower. So this equation would be 2x plus 6 is greater than 10, and you're going to solve it the same way. Subtract 6 from both sides. Divide by 2 from both sides, and x is greater than 2. That should be 4. I'm going to change that real quick. I don't know why I kept 10. Change that to 4. There we go. That makes more sense. Alright. 7.11b. Determine if the given value makes one variable to set equations and inequalities true. So you will be given an equation or equality. And asked to select the correct solution. You are going to want to solve the equation using inverse operations. Seven point ten A is where you write one variable to step equations and inequality to represent constraints conditions within problems. Um oftentimes this is where you are given a word problem. And you will be asked to select the matching equation.
This is very similar to linear equations. So you're still going to want to look for your per, your e, your unit rate. You're also going to want to continue to look for beginning balance. Registration fee. Very similar to linear equations. 7.10b wants to represent solutions. This means that you're going to represent them on number lines. So remember, equal to is just a dot. If it is greater than, it is open and to the right. If it is less than, it is open to the left. Remember, when we talked about this, you can change your inequalities into arrows to know which direction they need to go. If it is greater than or equal to, it is closed because it is included and goes to the right. If it is <coughs> less than or equal to, it is closed and to the left because it is includes the solution. So these do not include solutions. These include the solution. So make sure that the answer that you get is a part of the solution. 7.10c says to write a corresponding real-world problem given a one-variable two-step equation or inequality. Oftentimes, you will be given an equation or inequality. And you will be asked to select the word problem that matches. Again, this is very similar to linear equations. So continue to look for those key words. Your beginning balances, your PERS, your E. If there is something that you missed, please go back and listen to the video again.